Hi guys, welcome to another fresh video on the Galaxy J7 2015 and in this video we are going to uh, review the port S7H SH style ROM that is the S7H port SH style which is running the normal UX wicket on the J7 so let's see how it is, how it performs and all the anti-2 scores for that And now first of all we need to reboot into recovery mode so uh, just go into power off if you have advanced power menu you can directly go into it that loud noise so now we need to reboot manually using the volume up buttons the uh, power button power button and the home button volume up button not all those buttons so this is the new boot logo in which i'm going to make a separate video so it will be uploaded tomorrow or so and going to settings okay the brightness is good wipe let's go dialvic okay first of all before wiping everything just go to backup and backup your old data or else you will blame me for losing you can go to microSD card internal and swipe to backup i have already done one go to wipe then you go to dialvic cage uh, data system this four you will need to wipe all the instructions are down there in the uh, description too so if you miss this go down in the description and check them out let's go back i think the brightness has been uh, oh, okay now oh, it's good now let's go to install and i will go here to uh, build s7 style there's nothing extra to be flashed just go keep this here so this is another ROM by Lalson Kirtinho so if you know the developer of speed fusion remix he is the same one Lal And yes, of course, these ROMs are very awesome, very fast, very lightweight. And yes, this also is only like 6, 670 or something, 860 MB. So it's lesser than 1 GB. This is a Samsung Touch Vision ROM, lesser than 1 GB. That's great. Lesser than the MDK, 930 MB something, 960 MB or something. So lesser than MDK. This is the port S7 style, SH uh, port S7 SH style. No good. Now uh, not nougat, it's running on uh, marshmallow, so please don't uh, get it wrong side. So it's success and now we will reboot this, uh, so you click uh, do not install, if you are on the latest TWR page this will be asked, theme does say it. So where is the boot animation? Okay, I think this is a boot loop. Okay, boot loop. So yeah, the ROM is booting. It's not like the ROM is not booting or something. Okay, still the boot animation is not there. Yes, it is. So this is same as the real stock one. Nothing changed. So uh, let's see after booting what we get inside and what are those uh, additional features if we get the stock like so we'll get some minor features like floating messages, multi windows I think we are uh, getting because it's a 7 port. So let us on boot up, I will give the review and end to do also. So you see on the screen the ROM has booted up and let's decrease more display. Okay so I have that screen figuring so I'm afraid to. So this is the interface, this is the home screen and is the app store. The app store is normal, the uh, Note 7 launcher. Uh, yes, this is the Note 7 launcher and you can edit here and delete some apps. You can sort by A to Z and then click on continue. Yes, so this is the folder, we get tools, my files. So this is our Samsung normal tools, memo. This is a normal memo, not something new. So. Uh, let me show you all the apps which are from S8 like the new one or the older the calendar is the new one like 
newer than the stock modes here we get the default camera so uh, camera is uh, not having some extra functionality contacts also same uh, email app is uh, the different let's go to internet and this is the uh, Samsung internet not the Samsung internet beta we used in other ROMs messages and all the themes smart manager let's look upon the RAM we get here let's see how many MB RAM we get it's uh, 572 okay good going into settings we get different blue UI it's theme like S8 yes ports port S7 H S H style and we get the model number is J7WZF not uh, G930F or G935F October 1 patch and forcing kernel version 3.10.61 and battery info here we get here we get the device status also the ROM info board as 7 edge date it is April 2017 and it was in the ending so I thought to make a video now I got it battery life is very awesome internal storage some is used by me all these things let's go to some advanced functionality what it got quick launch camera 100 it's already there so galaxy labs you can also have the uh, so all apps on home screen so you can see here uh, no swipe up you can still uh, install the galaxy s8 launcher on here by uh, deleting the old sec launcher or the old uh, s8 launcher here okay performance is great uh, no lag i found using it uh, back days and again installing it now because to show you how the installation is so using it for two days was a great experience for gaming there was some lag experienced other things the performance battery is very good so this rom i will suggest you for uh, those users who will need a great battery see the calculator it's a new one but without the ruler and scaler all new icons so it looks pretty well which stock and you need some good icons so this rom is for you new music player and so these are the things and it's rooted with this super su and the 2.78 version because that is stable yes the 2.78 version which is stable and has no problems with super su so rooting uh, device is rooted with all new great asset wallpapers this will not be will not find this in any s8 this is only 8888 all colors and all some uh, cream the uh, so this is the review now i will just install the android benchmark by setting up my google account and give you the score so guys this is the android score i got 40,857 which is layer 42 41,000 and better than all those mdk and enigma roms which gave less performance so this is upgrade performance or in rom it will save more of your ram and i as i run the n2 2 let's check the free ram we got here just a casual free ram okay n2 2 running and now i'll free the ram let's see just a casual way so here is the 460 mb ram free but if you do it with any enigma or some roms you will get uh, very less happy like 380 320 so this was the video and this was the end of the score so if you like this video press the like button if you don't press the dislike button and show the feedback down in the comment section write some feedback please so that i can improve and then the next time you won't be able to dislike the video only like and also comment for any help issues subscribe and be with me for more videos and also uh, press the bell icon if you want some instant updates okay it's not forcibly just press if you want instant updates so goodbye and see you in the next video bye go now we'll catch up in the next video